Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome, Bernie. Good afternoon, Dan. We are today testing a brand that, if I'm being honest, I have never heard of before. Eleven. Have you ever heard of Eleven? No. No. Well, today you have, Bernie, because we're going to be putting these clubs to the test. Now, our friends at Sub70, UK Sub70, Richard Hemmings has created a brand. He's created Eleven and he's created a hybrid iron set brand and they want it to go global. They're gonna get into every country around the world with this set of golf clubs, and we're gonna put them to the test today, but we're also gonna test with the players here at Churston Golf Club. Lester's been out on the golf course and got a few people to hit some shots with them. I don't think this is necessarily targeted at players like Lester and I, but we're gonna put them to the test anyway and give you some feedback on the clubs. Well, there they are in full display. Give me your first impressions of these clubs then, Bernie. Okay, I'm gonna start off with a negative. Go for it. Mainly because I'm not a hybrid player. I love hitting long irons. Well, I carry you've got a, two a set of iron, blades. And I've got a set of blades. So the actual look of a hybrid in my hands, I, it just doesn't. I've not had much success with them, personally. I've not had the results. When I've dabbled with a hybrid, it's been in my bag for merely a couple of rounds and it's gone. So first impressions is a no for me. But what about first impressions down by the ball? Okay, I first quite positive things. I actually like the fact you can see so much face. That for me is brilliant. I can see loft on that. That's going to give you know everybody confidence that that's going in the air. Um, I just I love it. I like the fact you can see the hold of the face on a, on a seven iron. You can't, but because it's quite deep face as well. It's just it just looks forgiving. So first impressions. There's a negative, but there's also a positive that walks into that as well. So as soon as he picks it up out of the bag, looking at the bottom of the club, not necessarily enjoying sort of first impressions and almost going to some maybe some feelings of his own from previous experience of using types of clubs like this. However, down by the ball, it kind of ticks a couple of boxes for you. Oh, yeah, 100%. That's not, that's not bad looking. I, that, I'm not put off visually by, by that, the club alongside the ball. So now that you've hit a few, yep. what does it feel like? What does it sound like? It feels really, really good. It feels powerful off the face, almost like um, it's coming off a lot quicker. The speed seems to be, I mean, I haven't looked at numbers yet, but it seems to be quicker off the face than what my, I'm hitting the seven iron, what my actual existing seven iron would be. Feels really, really good. And the ball flight is like so good. It's staying in the air. It's not stalling, it's still going through the air, but the flight is, completely different to how I'd hit a 7-iron. Now we have been in the studio earlier and Lester has hit some balls, however I've not given him any feedback on the numbers yet, but from your point of view, do you believe that these clubs are launching higher off the face, going higher on the practice ground? Everything just sort of feels higher. I can, I can visually see, I've hit my own clubs down here, and visually this is definitely 100% higher flight. So first impressions for me looking down at this club is that, I mean, I've sold these types of clubs since I've been in the pro shop, working in pro shops. Companies have released hybrids, as Lester said earlier on. This is nothing new that we're seeing out on the market, but I don't know why companies aren't kind of sticking with this idea because I think hybrids are the way forward for many, many golfers out there. I think that when you certainly get to a, a point in the bag, you're going to see big drop-offs and hybrids with ball speed off the face, consistency across the face, you're going to get good results. I would like to see a lot more players out on the golf course using this style of club. So all the things that you would expect to probably see from a hybrid moving into this seven iron hybrid is it's tinny off the face you know there's a lot of hollow construction going on in here so it feels very much like a like an like a long hybrid that i would let's say use it feels very similar to let's say even a three wood or a five wood it's got that same sort of sense off the face of kind of springy so it does feel quite hot off the face but also just a loud sort of ping which like lester said you know things like that give people confidence. They get the feeling of almost power out of it. And certainly when Lester looked down at that club, he's seeing a lot of club face. I'm seeing 
you know, aloft. I had to check the bottom of the club to see that I was actually hitting a seven iron. It was all almost closer to like looking down at a nine iron, which again, you know, how much confidence is that going to give so many people out there? I'll be honest with you, I didn't want to like these. I didn't think I would, but I'm getting such like positive results out here hitting balls. I'd love to see the numbers. Well, on that note then, we're gonna head back to the studio now. Leicester's hit some balls earlier on, as I said. We're gonna go back to the studio and uh, read out some numbers for you because I think you're gonna be quite impressed with what you're seeing compared to what you're seeing out here. But before that, Leicester headed out onto the golf course earlier today to put them in the hands of some of the amateur golfers here at Churston. Rubbish. <laughs> Perfect. I can't fault that, can I? No, no. Would you normally hit an iron that far? Like a five iron? I'll like... never use a five iron. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be going with a seven wood on this hole nowadays. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a lovely club. Oh, brilliant. I love it, I love it. Thank you. But I'm not paying 500 quid each for it. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. That's pretty good. It's going to be all right. Now hit the other one, Callum. Yeah, that's good. Oh yes, I like that. Oh, I like them a lot. <laughs> you <laughs> might them. carry the bunker. Oh yes, yeah. it does. Yeah. You want to hit this one, Jim? <laughs> That's rubbish, that is. Are you hitting one of these? Yeah. Oh, oh look, look at that. Look at that. That's definitely, definitely a senior's club, Jim. Definitely a senior club. Yeah, I like that. Yours a senior, senior club. Yeah. I might get a whole set. So let's have a little look at these 11 hybrid irons. All in a jet black finish. Nice blackout shaft as well. First thing I see is a lot of loft and a lot of face. So that's brilliant for a higher handicap or someone who struggles to get the ball launching. It looks like it's been stretched back, CG pushed back towards the uh, back of the club. So again, launching the ball should be easy with these. For someone sort of higher handicapper, or maybe like a senior who struggles to get it in the air. It, these clubs should be great for. So let's look at the numbers of what Bernie's getting in the studio with his seven iron compared to the 11 seven iron. Well, starting off with his seven iron, we've got 115 mile an hour ball speed off the face on an average with his 10 shots. You compare that to 122.8. So getting a little bit more out of that seven iron from the 11 hybrid set. Now, what I would say is there's probably one degree difference in the lofts of these, the 11 being one degree slightly stronger and also about a quarter inch longer. So getting maybe just that little bit more speed out of that 11. Launching it, his iron, launching it one degree higher than the 11, which is amazing really, considering what he's saying, that he's seeing this high launch off the face down at the practice ground there, he's actually launching it one degree lower. Now, whether we can see that with a naked eye, I'm not 100% sure, but we move over to spin. Now, I would expect the spin on his iron, especially like a blade, to be actually quite a high spin, and then for the hybrid to maybe be that a little bit lower. We're not really seeing that. 6,500 on an average with his iron compared to 6,400 with the 11 seven, 7 iron and to me i'm really really impressed with that if we then go to the actual peak heights 31 yards high with his own club compared to 34 yards high with the 11 the 7 iron of the 11 set now we're seeing that on the actual range as well so peaking out just that little bit higher now we look at the carry distance averaging 162 carry out of his iron which is about right i see that on the golf course with him compared to 175 average carry with the 11 hybrid. Now, what I would say with this now is that the jumping effect of his iron. Now, you look at Leicester's iron, he's got one there going at 172. The shot after that is around 149. Now, I'm seeing that on the golf course. You know, when he doesn't quite catch it, comes up a bit short. When he gets it, really flushes it, he pings it through the back. So we're seeing that in the studio. We're also seeing that out on the golf course but what is impressive is the grouping of his uh, yardages his carry yardages with the 11 7 iron and you know i'm looking here i've got a 171 going up to 177 and a 178 and the bunching is really quite tight so actually numbers wise leicester's doing really really well 
with the hybrid. So some amazing numbers in the studio. Yep. I would say that's a real positive. Not not just obviously from the way you were hitting them out on the range before, but yeah. obviously then the numbers that we got in the studio. You could play that. Like they're consistent. I certainly could. Yeah. I mean, we've the number wise seven iron. It's fine. Seven iron, um, and then going like D lofting six five four etc. Then yeah, easily put them in the bag. What about the wedges then? You've just been chipping a few, hitting a few sort of shots. Yeah, I mean, me personally, not for me. I wouldn't go any less than seven iron, and I'd probably look at probably blending in put six iron upwards. Yeah. Um, but if I was someone who struggled to get the ball airborne, I mean, centre of gravity being pushed back, you know, everything's helping you to get the ball airborne, which is, you know, the key issue which people have with slower swing speeds and older golfers and something with that loft in your hand is going to give you so much confidence then and what about the guys that were out on the golf course then what were you seeing i know we got some responses but what were you seeing from them i i'd be honest with you i was seeing so much better flight they were hitting woods into the into that par three which is 160 170 yards i was giving them five irons and six irons in in the 11 club and the flight was so much better it was straighter and the ball was staying in the air they weren't keeping their clubs in the air um, if I was some of those guys I would definitely be buying these clubs but why don't some people buy this type of club it's obvious it's an ego thing isn't it I mean golf is hard enough why make it harder um, I'm, I'm in that same boat I want to hit long irons but generally I mean if I'm looking to improve I shouldn't really care less about the ego drop the ego and probably drop my scores and lower my scores. Completely agree. And and at the end of the day, when you look at a set of clubs like this, the hybrid style golf club, I mean, the first port of call is that this is designed for maybe a senior golfer, a junior golfer, a lady golfer, people with s less speed. Correct, yeah, I mean. But, you know, you're, you're somebody who hits good shots. You hit yeah. good iron, you're a good iron player. You can have your days where you're a bit inconsistent, yep. um, but you're a good iron player. Now, for someone like you, what I was seeing from those numbers is that how consistent you are. Now, you yeah. don't hit the middle of the bat every time. No, no. We, we used to, yeah. would say. However, we don't do it quite as much anymore. And, and you can see when Leicester doesn't quite hit the middle of the bat with his own set of irons, he can start to see drop-offs. Drop -offs, massive. Huge yeah. drop-offs. And this is what we're seeing. You've got to think that for someone like me, I mean, I've, I've been out on the golf course and hit Hit, hit the middle of the bat maybe once or twice in a round of golf yeah. and I'm seeing massive changes in the flight in the way in which the ball drops off but the consistency that Leicester was getting from those numbers at 10 shots like out of 10 shots you're going to hit one or two that aren't going to be quite right but the, the 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 spin numbers the way in which the ball was flighting the way in which it was the distance it was going so much more consistent in, in my opinion why this particular style of club hasn't really taken off or, or been as successful as it should be is just the ego thing um, the amount of people that are trying this is probably very low but more people should be experimenting with th this style of club further down their golf bag not just in the longer irons well to be fair i honestly thought that this is kind of what would happen i wasn't expecting lesser to kind of hit these clubs as well as he did and get the numbers the consistent numbers that he did but you know, we've had feedback today from players out on the golf course. We've had feedback from professionals in pro shops that sell this type of equipment. And I think the verdict is the fact that these clubs are just really easy to hit. They're really easy to get the ball in the air. They're really consistent off the club face and makes the game maybe just that little bit more fun. If you're hitting the golf ball on a regular basis in the air with a decent flight, with a decent amount of spin, which gives you that control, then the game has to become maybe just that little bit more fun. But I'd like to hear what you think. Have you ever heard of Eleven? If you haven't heard of Eleven, make sure you go down into the description and go and check them out because I think these clubs are going to be around for some time and I'm looking forward to seeing the journey of how they get on. Don't forget, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all again on the next video.